Several years ago, my father retired. He took up to collecting antique cast iron pieces, and most of the ones we don't use are in boxes and stored away. I was digging around in the cabinets in the basement the other day and came across these that I completely forgot about. I just thought I'd show you what we got here. Starting off, number eight, favorite, peak will wear. Griswold Slant, number eight. Got a lot of number eights. They're very popular. It's a lot lighter. It's a nice pan. Another number eight. Smooth bottom. I like Griswolds. Got a lot of them. Another number eight, smooth bottom. A little bit of, looks like acid pitting there, but overall, very nice, smooth. Another number eight, basically the same thing. Another number eight. Apparently these are very common. Now we got some number sevens. There is a Wagner National and it is feather light. Nice old pan. And the opposite of that is this heavy Martin Stoven Range, number seven. These are great for searing steaks in because they are so heavy. You can get them good and hot. Very nice. I've got a couple nines over here. Number nine, Griswold Slant. Dark patina in there. This piece is kind of unusual. It says it's a Griswold. Well, I can tell by the font that it's actually made by Wagner. You can still see the mill marks in there. And it's heavy. But, you know, nice pan. Full of little skillets. So number five, large black Griswold. Number four, small black Griswold. Nice. They're all nice. Number four large block Griswold. Kind of rare, you don't see too many of these. Very nice, too. Like a mirror. Yeah, here's kind of a unusual, well, not unusual, but the Ozark number four. They're fairly common. Around Missouri, kind of a regional brand. Uh -huh. And we got number four Wagner Smooth Bottom. And we got another number four Ozark. Three Griswold. Yeah, 
Here's a neat piece. There's a number th number three Wapak Indian head logo. And it's not the reproduction, it's the real one. Real thing. It's got a nice nice baked on seasoning in there. It was used a lot. Here's another Ozark number three. And this thing looks like it's never even been used. Maybe it hasn't. These are all just pieces I found that I forgot about. Here's another little box I found, had some interesting stuff in it. Wagner T size corn stick pan. A wax mold. Old eerie wax mold. I guess you can melt butter or fat in it. There's an old uh, patty bowl. There's an old patty bowl. Looks like it's never been used. Here's a Wagner. I guess that's a patty bowl too. Looks like somebody might, might have been shined up with a wire wheel. I'm not sure. Has that bronze color to it. Usually it did give away somebody wire wheeled it. Got a bunch of these little ashtray spoon holders. And these things are really nice. If you want to make clarified butter. Put your butter down in there, let it melt real slow. And when you pour it out, all your butter solids will stay right there in that crease, and that oil, butter oil, will just pour right on out. That's what I use them for. A couple of these are lodges, just modern lodge, nothing special. You can still use them. Well, that's about all for now. If you want to see some more pieces, leave a comment and I'll pull some boxes down and show off some more of them.